Hey, so this is um, the next part. I forget the date. It's January. Um, still before mid January. So I bought the engine indoors. Um, I wanted to have a proper look inside, and I've been able to in this process is basically flush the engine. Um, hang on, let's see if I can get. So I've been able to flush the engine, and um, and I've just filled it up with some engine flush, and um, just shook it around all inside. Um, and made sure, and then poured it all out, um, which was a yeah rather interesting process. But a few bits came out, a few metal fragments, lots of little metal fragments came out. But um, I've sort of gone round, inspected inside, and I cannot see. And it looks nice and clean inside, and there are absolutely no more fragments of broken piston in there. Um, Inspected it from both sides, gone up, down, and uh, used little makeshift tools to go in there and just check that there's nothing, there's nothing in there, and there's absolutely nothing in there. So I'm quite happy to put this back together. Um, I've got the old piston off, um, as the the there. So what we have here is nice new um, cylinder block, cylinder head, whatever you want to call it. Um, nice new piston. Um, I'm just in the process of fitting the oil ring in there at the minute and some uh, new piston rings there's little uh, little pins which go on the end and the nice new gudgeon pin and, and a new gasket which has gone on the end there and another one uh, gasket to go on so I'm just in the process of putting this new cylinder in and um, Let's see how we go with that. The um, this installation of the piston ring. So I don't know if you can see that, but I've installed the oil um, the oil rings. Um, they're always a little bit tricky doing the oil um, the oil over. So I, I, when I install piston rings, I always like to start with the um, yeah you know, just, just start with the bottom one first. Um, and you can see that in this one, there's like a bottom ring. There's this the oil seal ring, and then there's another top ring, and then the very thin rings. Then you got um, another thicker ring and another thicker ring to go on top, um, and you have to sort of stagger the the openings of the ring, sort of like 120 degrees apart, so it makes a good seal when it's inside the uh, inside the cylinder. Um, so yeah, now let's do the other two, and then we'll um, put it on the uh, put it on the conrod. So the piston rings are now installed, and um, yeah, you can see what I've done. I've just staggered each of the openings. So there's one, there's a bottom ring which is sort of staggered there, and the other opening for the uh, the top ring, which is just there and staggered. So yeah, so they're all the three the three rings installed, and um, so let's uh, put this on on the conrod. So the pistons are now installed into the uh, onto the conrod. So um, just a few notes about doing this. Um, obviously, I've just turned the engine to make sure the piston goes all the way down to the bottom without hitting anything. So that tells me it's the right size. Um, when you install the piston, you see these markings. This is in and something else. Um, the in the in basically means intake. So that side should always go towards the intake which in this case the engine is is this side um, yeah this this side is the exhaust side so um, yeah just being in mind that because as you can see the little grooves for the valves now this the intake one um, is a different size to the exhaust one so um, and that matches up with the exhaust the valves that you, you put on so yes yeah, so always make sure that the in is on the intake side of the engine um, and uh, you will be all good um, uh, another little note so I've put the little pins on the side there not too not too tricky just a pair of small pliers just to get there there is a little bit of it moves nice and freely which is good so um, so there is a, it moves nice and free. There is a little bit of side to side play, but I'm not worried about that because I'll be taken up when I put the uh, uh, piston in. Now traditionally I've always used piston ring, um, uh, piston ring compressing tools to install the piston, but if you look here, there's like a little lip 
at the bottom and I believe that's to aid you installing the piston so you can just literally just press it over so I'm going to oil this just a little bit just so it makes it nice and easy and oil the cylinder with some engine oil and then just uh, put that on nice new shiny cylinder right, so that's all done and um, so that's the, the top end installed and uh, the, the cylinder just pressed over the piston and um, it moves up and down nicely um, feels like it's going to be some real good compression um, there so yeah so now I think it's just the process of just putting everything back together and I'll do the, the top end of the valves and everything and I'll lap those and clean them as well so um, hopefully we'll be good to have this uh, up and running fairly soon.